Once upon a time, in the ancient world of Judaism and Christianity, there existed magnificent structures known as the tabernacle and temple. These weren't just ordinary buildings, they were symbols of divine presence and worship. It all began with the tabernacle, a portable sanctuary constructed by the Israelites in the wilderness under the guidance of Moses. Picture a vast, tent-like structure adorned with rich tapestries and precious metals designed to house the Ark of the Covenant, the holiest relic containing the tablets of the Ten Commandments. The tabernacle served as a place where the Israelites could commune with God, offering sacrifices and seeking guidance. Its construction and design were precise, with every detail carrying symbolic significance from the outer courtyard to the innermost chamber, the Holy of Holies. As generations passed, the tabernacle gave way to the grandeur of the temple. King Solomon, renowned for his wisdom, built the first temple in Jerusalem as a permanent dwelling for God's presence among his people. Imagine a majestic structure of stone and cedar, resplendent with gold and precious jewels. The temple became the focal point of Jewish worship, a place of pilgrimage and prayer for believers from near and far. Within its walls, priests conducted sacred rituals, offering sacrifices and prayers on behalf of the people. But the temple wasn't just a physical edifice. It was a symbol of spiritual connection and divine grace. Its architecture reflected the hierarchy of heaven and earth, with each element representing a facet of faith and devotion. Tragically, the first temple was destroyed by the Babylonians in 586 BCE, leading to a period of exile and mourning for the Jewish people. Yet, hope endured, and after decades of hardship, they rebuilt the temple under the leadership of Ezra and Nehemiah. The second temple stood for centuries as a beacon of hope and holiness, witnessing the rise and fall of empires and the triumphs and trials of God's chosen people. It was during this time that Jesus of Nazareth, a revered prophet in both Judaism and Christianity, walked its hallowed halls, teaching and preaching the message of love and redemption. However, the fate of the Second Temple was sealed in 70 CE when the Romans raised it to the ground, scattering the Jewish diaspora and forever altering the course of history. Yet, the legacy of the tabernacle and temple lives on, not merely as relics of the past, but as enduring symbols of faith and worship. They remind us that even in the darkest of times, God's presence endures, and His love sustains us through every trial and tribulation 